14 dog adventures run boy run everything you need is here under the sun everything you need is here under the sun welcome back to sporting dog adventures on this week's nutritional tip I have Mary Reynolds from Loyal Pet Food. Mary, tell me about one of the main ingredients in a majority of your foods. Yeah, so actually we use poultry byproduct meal and that kind of gets a bad rep in the industry because you know they've claimed that there's beaks and feet and feathers in poultry byproduct, but there's actually two different grades. There's pet food grade and feed grade. Feed grade is where you're going to find those undigestible sources like beaks and feet and feathers. Pet food grade is actually mainly organs, muscle, connective tissue of the animal, which is actually the most nutrient-rich source of protein you can get is the organs. When you look at a dog in the wild, when they would eat a pheasant, chucker, quail, one of the first things they're going to eat are the organs and the connective tissues of that bird, correct? Yeah, you're exactly right. When you think of a dog and an animal in the wild, the first thing they're going to go for is the organs because it's the most nutrient-rich source of protein that an animal can get. So they're craving it. It's essential to them, so they want it. Now, Mary, when you get into a lot of dog foods, they'll list whole chicken as the main ingredient. Could you explain that to me? Yeah, so when you're going out to buy pet food, you look at whole chicken and you think that's got to be great for my dog. We think of when we eat whole chicken. But in all reality, whole chicken as itself is about 60% moisture. So when you take that down to make the dog food and make it into a dry, dry formula, you take out a lot of that water weight. So in all reality, instead of being the first ingredient, it actually could be your third, fourth, or even fifth ingredient that your dog's getting. So poultry byproducts are actually a good thing. Yeah, pet food grade, which is what we use in Loyal Pet Foods. And the thing is, is we tend to humanize our dogs. You know, we, they're our friends, they're our family, and we want to give them the best nutrients. But in all reality, what dogs require is different than what humans require. I know my dogs do great on it. They're out in the field now. Let's get back to some high-flying adventures. If you'd like this video, check out our channel and subscribe to youtube.com forward slash sporting dog adventures TV.